to go. You can't stay here. You have to move. Uh, I'm sorry. She's just a little fussy. Carlos, get your hands off that lady. My boys, they have no manners. says hello. A wild shootout in broad daylight resulted in six deaths. Among the dead were notorious mafia boss Anthony Vecchio. Vecchio, known on the streets as Little Tony, was embroiled in a power struggle with mob underboss Victor Alonzo for control of the Lucento crime family. Police have no suspects so far and have refrained to comment. <sighs> that was absolutely perfect. Thank you. No, I'm okay. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. You're turning out to be a good chef. Well, if I left it up to you, Luke, you'd have take it every night. <laughs> know your limitations. That's my motto. And besides, no miss. I'd love to stay and chit-chat about the pros and cons of takeout versus home cooking. But I do have a semblance of a life, you know. Yeah. Ah, leave that. Where are you off to? Nowhere. Nowhere. Why do I get the distinct feeling you're not telling me everything? Because I'm not. Good night, Luke. Don't wait up, okay? <sighs> Good night, sweetheart. Today, Senator Harmon, Have former fun. director of the CIA, announced his intentions to run for the leadership of the Republican Party. Harmon, a Vietnam veteran and renowned hardliner, surprised insiders by making his announcement on the steps of the Senate building. It is expected the senator will hold a formal press conference later this week. It's time to stop talking and start acting. How's your family, Jimmy? I'll show you this room, it's finished. Okay. So you gonna be ready for tomorrow? Yeah, you know, I was really, really nervous about this show, but, uh, I, well, you know what? I'll just take you in, you can see for yourself. Wow, James. Mm. This is incredible. These pieces are, are excellent. I'm so proud of you. It's all coming together. 
Slowly but surely. Yeah. I've got so much work to still do, though. I mean, you saw the front gallery. I've, I've still got to get that all dressed. I mean, half of these paintings arrived before you got here, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, trying to get an artist to, to meet a deadline is like pulling teeth sometimes, you know? <laughs> yeah, this one's beautiful. Oh, I love this one. This kid is 23 years old. He's already painting at this level. I mean, it blows my mind. He's going to be huge. And that's all thanks to you. You know? I'm going to be there front and center tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Mm. Why aren't your paintings up there? Well, I don't know. The market's really fallen through for the dogs playing poker. Now I'm stuck with all this velveteen. Stop. Not everything has to be a masterpiece, though, James. Mm. You know? I think, um... I think you need to be inspired a little bit. Inspired? Yes, I do. I'm not sure I'm following well, you. Well, let me show you. Hmm. No, not getting anything. Nothing. There. No. Well, how about oh, I think I like this inspiration. So we'll see you tomorrow at the grand opening. Yeah, yeah. Finally a chance for me to meet the mysterious Luke. You weren't going to introduce me, were you? Look, James, when the time is right, you'll meet him. I promise. He's going to love you. Good night. Good night. Having trouble sleeping? How was your evening? Fine. You weren't waiting up for me now, were you? No, just gassing up on some reading. At 2 a.m., huh? Is it that late? So what are you reading? Look, no offense, but you need a woman. <laughs> or at least a hobby. Job. Hi. You've reached Candace's web page. I'm so very, very hot for you. So what's it gonna be, big boy? So what have we got? Peter Wellington. Seems simple enough. Yeah. That's exactly what's got me worried. Look, we can do this one in our sleep. Not this one. 
Yeah, what are you doing? Hannah, trust me. This hit just isn't right. Luke, that was a lot of money. Doesn't that say anything to you? Now, who pays a lot for easy contracts? The government. Nothing the contract is as easy as it seems. You don't think I can do this? Hannah, we don't do government jobs. It's that simple. Look, it's late, I'm tired, and I have no time for this. on service. You have to take another. Damn it, my day timer. Alita? I'm on it. Yes, sir. Oh, come on. I'm only going to the fourth floor. It'll be our little secret. Alita. They got Wellington, a woman south stairs. Move! Move. We're running out of time. Room for two more? Mm. 
Who sent you? The big bad wolf. <laughs> I was thinking, we need a calling card. Ah, something with style. All the great killers, they got calling cards. Something they say to a dude before they cap his ass. <laughs> That's the kind of thing that gets you a rep. And when you get a killer rep, you get respect. Am I right? One problem. What? The guy's dead. So? Let me ask you this, Einstein. How can it be your calling card? There's no one around to tell the story? Let's go. You got work to do. Name's Angel, and that's the last word you're ever gonna hear. Nah, that sucks. So how was the opening? 
The opening was fine, Hannah. The opening was great. Thank you very much for being there. James. No, no, this is the same thing over and over again. I mean, it's getting absolutely ridiculous. Hannah, what's wrong? I could go get us a movie or something. Say, um, uh, The Princess Bride, uh, with, uh, Billy Crystal, Robin Wright, uh, Andre the Giant. James, hurry back, okay? As you wish.
way, Hannah. He ain't seen anyone, not now. Why'd you kill Luke? Oh? It's a simple question, Alonzo. I want a simple answer. Who gave you my name? Your boy Angel, for starters. Angel, that moron. I haven't used him for months. He's freelance now. But where's the pazza or the Jesus Serio? Si, sono pazza. Him and Frank have been working together for a while. We haven't seen those boys in a long time. Frank was a dead man. His life ain't worth the cost of a bullet. If anyone's using that joker for jobs, it's because they don't know him. So where do I find Franco? You can try the girls on the east side. Low class. That's more his speed. <laughs> I guarantee you, if he's making money, he'll be down there pissing it away. Hey, baby. You look a little ice strong. Why don't you let me loosen you up a little? Come over here. Sorry about your nose. Good evening, Franco. Oh, fellas, you guys uh, looking for a little action? A little action? You know, a um, little advice. I'd uh, lose the suits next time. Kind of makes you look like cops. <laughs> Real joker, right? <laughs> Time for a little chat, Franco.
So you kids want a drink? Hold on. I'll tell you, boys, music since the king died, man. It's crap. Now, I'm not talking about when he was in Vegas taking pot shots at TVs and stuff. Nah. I'm talking about the man. Oh, hey. In his prime. You two, uh, Elvis men? <laughs> Sit up, Franco. Oh, hey. Relax. Now is it done? Where's my money? Jack's in the cash. Dang, what you guys are so worked up about. It's like fish in a barrel. Hey, you've always been clueless, Franco. I didn't know this was going to be an official visit. Well, I just wanted to shake the hand of the man who killed two of the greatest assassins since Lee Harvey Oswald. <laughs> yeah, well, you want a job done right, you get the best. You just let me know if any more of your uh, boys get out of line. So? So what? Are you going to make me a happy man, Franco? I told you I could handle it. Luke's dead. The girl? Uh, we missed the uh, opportunity. Uh, look, it's no big deal. I, I sent Angel to take care of it. He should be back any time. He just relax, have a drink. Don't worry. Anyway, she's a throw-in. My gift to you, no charge. Hey, did you hear that fellas and girl is a gift to us? <laughs> Listen, I don't know what to say. You shouldn't have. And Moses, is he a gift as well? Well, no, I mean, guys got to make a living, right? You guys understand that. Nice try, though. <laughs> you ever ask yourself, Franco, how uh, a screw-up like you could get two of my best men? No. Because they were set up, Franco. They were sent there, I sent them there. And you want to know why, Franco? I have a feeling you're going to tell me. Because they were loose ends, Franco. And you... You... are... my last. scumbag nail Luke and Moses. Now all we have to do is find his little friend. Prep the place, let's get out of here. This punk is already starting to stink. that? It's a girl, sir. Here. I'm not the one sneaking into the back of my apartment. What the hell happened? I mean, I come back, my place is trashed, you're gone. What am I supposed to think? James, not now. What do you mean, not now? Jesus Christ, Hannah, would you talk to me? Freeze! Hands up against the wall, right now! Guys, it's not what you think. It's just a little disagreement, Hannah. You can tell them. You guys are good. Where'd you come from? Hey, Jesus. Hey, would you relax there, Serpica? Ah! Oh! Oh!
way. Clearly, the deficit is not going to vanish overnight, folks. And of course, vote for me. for me. Let's try to keep a proper perspective on these things. I guarantee you, this whole thing will turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Vote for me. My budget proposal is just a starting point. Of course, vote for me. For me. For me. We work together and stay on course. All I ask for is that the American public be patient. And of course, vote for me. I guarantee you, of course, vote for me. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Martha, you are looking just exquisite. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That'll be all the questions for today. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you. Where's the girl? We're working on it, sir. What did you say? Sir. I dare you to say that again. I don't need to remind you what it would mean if that girl were to see the light of day. You find her and you finish her. Now too. James, take a look at this gun. Look at it. It doesn't have a serial number on it. James, they weren't cops. Jesus Christ, is that supposed to make it easier? James, I... You're, you're what? You're sorry that I just killed somebody? Well, well, what the hell happened back there? You're like... You're like Jackie Chan or something. I mean, who are you? I don't even know. James. Luke was an assassin. <laughs> A paid killer. And so am I. I never knew my mother because she died in a car crash when I was really young. Luke was my father's best friend in the war. And before he died, he made him promise to take care of me. You know what? I don't want to hear it. James. Okay? Yes, sir. I was just uh, feeling a little car sick. Is that so? Where are you two kids from? The city. You don't say. What might be your business in these parts? Just passing through. Just passing through, huh? How about some ID? 
You all have that in the big city, don't you? It's, uh, in the car. Now, if I were to punch up your license plate here, I wouldn't find out your names are Bonnie and Clyde. Something like that now, would I? What the? Oh, wait a second, officer. It's not what you think. No, no, you tell me just what am I thinking. Hannah, hold on here. Drop a lady. Put it down. I said put it down. Everybody just chill, OK? Take a moment here. Put it down. No way, lady. Not going to happen. Look, uh, Officer Wiley. Listen, Officer Wiley. Clarence. What? Everybody calls me Clarence. No one calls me Officer Wiley. OK. Look, Clarence. You don't want to get shot, do you? Neither do I. So please put the gun down. How come you're not asking her to put the gun down? Because I got a pretty good feeling about you, Clarence. You seem like a pretty sensible guy to me. Her? Jesus. Look, Clarence, do you have any kids? Look at me. I asked if you had any kids. Yeah, two. Just think about your kids, Clarence. OK, they deserve to have their father around. Okay, take it easy, man. I'm just going to take this. Everything's going to be cool, OK? I promise you, Billy, no one's going to get hurt. See, we're all uh, friends here. What are you going to do with me? OK, now, Clarence, I'm just going to leave your keys by the front tire. All right, you OK? You're not too uh, cold, are you? OK. What about the radio? What's that? Can I listen to the radio? Sure, Clarence. Hey, you take it easy. You make a pretty good team, huh? Look, James, I know this is a lot to swallow. Chris, I know how twisted this all sounds, but... You don't understand. I have to find them before they find us. And then what? And then that's it. It's over. It's just... Look, I understand if you want to leave. Where to? What? Where to next? He's like family. I've known him since I was a little girl. He's taking care of the boat here for the winter. Are you a sight for sore eyes? Oh, it's good to see you. All right. This is James. Hey, Oz. Brings you to this lovely corner of the world. Oz, we're in trouble. 
Yeah, what else is new? Oh, baby. What you got here, girl? I think they're feds. Oz, I don't know what the hell's going on here. Are you okay? Oz. Luke's dead. What happened? The last hit. We were set up. Look. Oz, do you think we can go in and clean up? It's been a really long day. Of course. But let me borrow the kid here. I can use some help with your friends in the trunk. Hannah. I'm sorry. Thanks, Oz. What are you gonna do with me? So, kid, what's your story? There's not much to tell, really. Frustrated artist, tired of being told he, he'll never make it, wakes up one morning and finally believes it. So he takes a job in a small but funky gallery downtown and spends his days hanging other people's dreams on the walls. Not much of a headline. So what the hell are we doing now, Oz? I don't think it'd be in my best interest to be driving around town in a stolen vehicle with two bodies in the trunk. So we gotta move bodies now. Great, just great. So, James, what are your intentions with Hannah? Don't worry, I'll have her home by midnight. How long have you two known each other? All her life. God, it seems just like yesterday. She was just a little girl. She was brought up by her grandparents, and then Luke. What was he like? Who, Luke? Yeah. He was one of the best friends a guy could have. I met him in Nam. We were in the same unit for a while before he joined the team of special ops. The thing was, when they asked him to join, they didn't mention what he had to give up. You see, what these guys were doing was secret. I mean, I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you secret. Nobody could know where he was or what he was doing. So they reported him MIA. Intercepted all his mail going both ways. He never even knew he had a baby girl waiting for him when he came back. He never even knew his sweetheart had been killed in a car accident. Jesus. So Luke was... Man, why are you telling me all this? Because you're all she's got. Her family life hasn't exactly been a bed of roses. I'm not trying to make excuses for her. I'm just trying to give you a little insight. We better get this car back. Come on, kid. The legend goes that the blues is the devil's music. In the crossroads, that's where you're supposed to meet the devil, get the 12th tune. Is this some sort of bonding thing? It seems our friend here had never heard of Robert Johnson. Probably thought the blues began and ended with Stevie Ray Vaughan. Ozzy gets a little testy when it comes to the blues. Thinks he knows everything under the sun. How many albums you got now, Oz? 2,000 and counting. On vinyl like they were meant to be. None of this compact crap. Yeah, I gotta agree with you there, Oz. I mean, you ever seen the compact version of Sticky Fingers? Kind of defeats the purpose. Andy Warhol did that. Cover. I'm aware. <laughs> Hey, Oz, what's this? God damn! I am a handsome man. <laughs> Is that Luke? No. Bob Rio, 
That's Luke. This guy here is Keith Kurtz. We used to call him Moses on account of him being so religious. We started with Holy Moses. Moses? Yeah, Moses. The guy was a real Bible thumper. Tell me more about Moses. That's him there. He joined our platoon about two. What's wrong, hen? Moses. The guy who killed Luke mentioned a Moses. What was that first guy's name again? Bob Rio. Bob Rio. No, I, I don't remember that name. You know, I remember this. When you sang goodbye. These three, Rio, Luke, and Moses were being transferred. It's the last time I saw them in the country. Why them? They were the snipers in our battalion. Black Ops. What? So uh, it's what Ozzy told me, a special unit in Vietnam. <sighs> Jesus. Guns with no serial numbers, black operations. Ozzy, what the hell have we gotten ourselves into here? Is anyone else hungry? I'm starved. There's a burger place just a few miles down on the right. Take my car. The keys are in it. All right, I'm on it. What did you tell him? What he needs to know. He's a good kid. Yeah, he is. He's a big boy. He can take care of himself. Oz, I'm really tired. It's been a hell of a day. I'm gonna go lie down. Okay, baby. Get your rest. Thanks, Oz. Sir, we have no word from Reynolds and Jackson. We've been trying to trace them, but we've come up empty-handed. And what about the girl? Have you been able to track her down? She seems to have disappeared as well. <laughs> Let me get this straight. You have access to state-of-the-art tracking devices, satellites, computers, and you can't even find two of your own field agents. Yes, sir. Okay. Tell you what. Why don't you get the hell out of here? And if you value your life even a little bit, you'll find that girl. Yes, sir. So Van Gogh cut his ear off, and then he mailed it to her. Why? He was a tortured artist. He, he uh, was deeply in love, you know? Um, and he was quite insane. That's besides the point. Hey, sunshine. What time is it? How long have I been out? A couple hours. Feels like a couple days, though. The kid here has been talking my ear off. You like that one? Talking my ear yeah, off. That's a good one. You OK, darling? Yeah, I'm fine. So tell me more about the Black Ops. There's nothing to tell, really. Just rumors. Assassination type stuff. They were real cloak and dagger. Had their own agenda, and they didn't discriminate, if you know what I mean. Charming. So who would want them dead, and why? I think the question you should be asking is not why, but why now? Luke knew he was living on borrowed time. They all did. So how do I find out more about the Black Ops? Maybe they've got a website. <laughs> Newman. Yeah, this is uh, George Henderson from the um, Leiden County Police Department. What is it? Hey, are you driving right now? 
You know you're not supposed to talk on the phone and drive, right? You better pull over if you want to continue this conversation. What the hell do you want? Hey, there's no need to get testy with me, sir. We got that information you requested. You were looking for two men and... Get on with it. Well, it seems one of our boys found that car a few hours ago. And, well, I hope you're sitting down. I think I can get Luke's email from here. Bingo. Here it comes. What are we looking for? This. This was sent to Luke the same day we were set up. It's a friggin' nursery run. The answer's gotta be here somewhere. Wait a second, go back. That's not how it goes. What? The rhyme, it's been changed. This isn't a message. This is a warning. Someone was trying to warn Luke. Damn it. I gotta find out who sent this. You can check the code. The computer code. You can trace the, uh, the email using the graphic code. Voila. <sighs> this could take some time. Look, James, I'm gonna get our room ready. You let me know the second anything comes up, okay? Kensington Public School. Sorry? The message. It came from uh, Kensington Public School. It's, uh, it's in a little town about an hour north of here. Well, at least we have a destination, huh? I, I don't suppose there's any merit in telling you how insane this is. I mean, you have considered the possibility that this is, you know, another setup, right? I'm just tired of running. I mean, you're not used to running. Yeah, I took the liberty of drawing us a map. Look, James, when this is over... When this is over, I, I'm... Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna take you out of this 2 one-horse town. See the world firsthand. Sistine Chapel, Lisa. Statue of David? Of course she wants to see the naked man. <laughs> James, I don't deserve you. That is true. I want to talk dirty too. Looking for these? Busted. So, what do you want me to tell him? Tell him I'll be home soon. You be careful. Always. I'll check with the chain. Oh, hold on for a second, dear. What is it? We just got word from a sheriff that ID'd the girl. Where? She and her companion overpowered him at the junction of I-5 and Highway 89. Now we gotta go, honey. I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye. Sir, there's still no word from Reynolds and Jax. Jane, did you get my dry cleaning? Yes, sir. Picked it up on Thursday. Okay. Sent out two teams. I'm sure they couldn't have gotten far. Yes, sir. Sir? 
We'll take my car. Smells good, man. What are you cooking? Eggs, bacon, and a little blues. <laughs> it's the breakfast of champions. That's right. So where's uh, where's Hannah? Oh, come on. She didn't. She can take care of herself. Are you insane? I gotta go after her. What you got to do is sit your ass down and eat these goddamn eggs. Now sit down. Sit. Besides, she took the car. Son, I'm gonna introduce you to my special recipe. Ozzy's Eggs Tequila. Recognize me, do you, Hannah? We can't talk here. Who are you? How did you find me? Answer the question. I knew Luke. <laughs> Name's Bob. Bob Rio. You sent the email, didn't you? Three little pigs. And remember, one got away. They'll find you, Bob. I did. They can't find what they're not looking for. Fifteen years ago, Chopper went down over Nicaragua. All hands, bodies were never recovered. Never appeared in the news because it never officially happened. You were on that flight, weren't you? Really, eh? I killed B before they could. <laughs> How did you know that they were going to kill Luke? You were sitting there, saw that. Boy, if I have learned anything in my 55 years on God's green earth, it is not to try to understand the mind of a woman. Amen. You can't live with them, and you can't shoot them. I beg to differ. They got Luke. What about Moses? They get him too? Dead. Prince of lies. El Diablo. The devil himself. Senator Harmon. After what we did, Luke should have known Harmon was going to come knocking. Bob, what did you do? 
Tell me. I'm not going to ask you again. Only the most notorious assassination of all time. Hey, Sherlock. Next time, park your car in the back. Okay, that's it. I'm definitely not voting Republican now. Gentlemen, I'm a busy man. I have a dinner engagement with the Speaker of the House and a late night interview with City Line, and my little baby girl can't get to sleep without me reading her a bedtime story. So, as you can see, <laughs> I'm a little pressed for time. Where does she go? Come on, Bob. We're going on a little trip. No way, lady. I ain't going anywhere. Bob, this is bigger than the both of us. People need to know. Now, that's crap. Nobody's gonna believe us. That's what keeps them safe. Look, Bob. Why did you try and get in touch with Luke? I told you, to warn him. He doesn't need warning. Tell me the real reason, Bob. It's because you can't stay out of the game, right? Here you are, in the middle of nowhere. Carmen thinks you're dead. You've won. But you risk everything to warn somebody who doesn't need it. Am I right? Helping Luke was just one last little screw you to get to Harmon. Come on, Bob. Let's get personal. You know Harmon will. What's that supposed to mean? Once he finds out you're alive, he will travel to the ends of the earth to find you. The way I see it, we got one chance. We find him first. Where does she go? Well, then, um, when is she coming back? Now do I have your attention? What are you protecting her for? What did she ever do for you except get you mixed up in all of this? I didn't kill Ozzy. Your girlfriend did. That's how you gotta look at it. <sighs> Yo, my girlfriend's gonna kick your ass. Oh, thank you for telling me what I need to know. Newman, go rig the ship. We can't afford to take any chances since his girlfriend's coming back to kick my ass. Yes, sir. That's way too obvious. Who invented the internet? I'll tell you who it was. The government. Why? Global Village? Information sharing? I think not. I'll tell you who you're sharing information with. And you invited them into your home. What is it? What's wrong? The ladder to the boat's up. So? Something's not right here, Bob. Harmon. You're okay, kid. Too bad you're not batting on the winning team. But then, uh, you're not a player, are you? You're an artist. I'm a bit of an artist myself. You know what I like to do? 
I like the finger pain. When is she coming back? Well, have faith, kid. Didn't Matisse paint with his mouth at the end of his career when he could no longer use his hands? Sir, you're not going to believe this. Target has returned. Want me to take her out? Oh. Oh, holy fire. You gave your girlfriend too much credit. She's coming straight to us. Williams, get the girl. Phillips, you hold your position. Roger that. This ought to be interesting. Let's go, Picasso. It's game time. <laughs> So easy. James, are you okay? I'm okay. Let him go, Harmon. He has nothing to do with this. Oh, no, no, no. Your artist friend is a featured player. Thanks to you. Why, Harmon? Why now? Well, that's a million dollar question, isn't it? You see, Hannah, the world is not black and white. There are no more walls, no more clear enemies. Me, I'm just changing with the times. Adapting, if you will. For that, I need a clean slate. Give the girl a prize. You see, I'm the new enemy. The one you can't find, even though he's standing right in front of you. I have power, Hannah, but not the kind of power that comes with the backing of the American public. I've started wars. But like my daddy used to say, don't start things you can't finish. One day when I'm president, I'll have the power to finish them. You're insane. No, 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 no. I'm opportunistic. The ship's rigged to blow, Hannah. Well, that's too bad. Just when things were getting interesting, too. Cut the crap, Harmon. Time to lay the cards on the table. I've got Bob. Bob Rio. <laughs> Bob Rio He's is. Dead. I know. Died in a helicopter crash in Nicaragua? You just gotta ask yourself how I know. What's the matter, Harmon? You don't look too good. One man who can bring your house of cards crashing down loose on the town. How do I know you have Bob Rio? That's the question on everyone's mind.
sorry, honey. My day's done. I'm gonna need some cover. Can you manage? I ain't dead yet. On three, ready? One. Two. Three. dead. The game is over. Honey, I haven't even begun. Come on, Senator. Stick your head out just a little. <laughs> I guess it's time to show who's in charge, huh? You know, raise the stakes a little. Let's examine them together, shall we? Uh, we can stand here and chat all day while your friend here bleeds to death. I mean, I'm no expert, but it looks pretty bad. Or you can take your shot. <laughs> Kill him quick, and then I'm yours. What's it gonna be, little girl? Clock is ticking. Duke. 
Come on, do it, kid. Take a shot. Come on. Do it. Come on. Come on. Go for it. Shoot him now. Man. Do it. <laughs> Woo! Can't you feel that rush? Kill this prick now, Hannah. Come on, Hannah. Oh, damn. See now, surrendering was never an option. off. Gosh, you know, I miss him already. So where to? Anywhere. A clean slate. No more secrets? No more secrets. I got just one. I collect comic books. No, I think I want to draw them. No, I'm not kidding. I got this one idea for this this character. See, she's a uh, she's an assassin. Oh no. Yeah, no, she works no. undercover, and her boyfriend he's this kick-ass kung fu expert. Comics really more about him. Yeah. <laughs>